And that was Jim Nash reporting. Now to a tragic accident in the La Brea corridor. A driver hits two people crossing the street, killing one, and turns out they all knew each other. Sarah Welch is live near the scene where that... President Obama went to New Hampshire today to tout his Jobs Act, but his speech got interrupted by hecklers. Police in San Diego are trying to figure out why a well-dressed man went on a rampage at a dealership over the weekend, damaging more than a dozen cars. Well, the season of sharing was on display in South L.A. today with an annual food donation for those who are down on their luck. Hundreds a Louisiana congresswoman has introduced a bill that would limit how much an airline can charge. In today's Eat Beat, L.A. Times Test Kitchen Manager Noelle Carter has a decadent recipe for mac and cheese. Let's take a look. More on the chaos in Cairo. Well, Cher and Micah protesters are calling for Egypt's military-led government to step down. And today, the head of the armed forces said the military doesn't want to rule and presidential elections will be held by next June. But caught up in the middle of all this unrest, three young American students. But, of course, hugs were not the norm today. Instead, police have been using rubber bullets and tear gas mostly on the protesters. Now, since Saturday, more than 100 officers have been injured. Nearly 1,800 protesters have been hurt. And at least 30 protesters have died in the clashes. For KTLA 5 News, I'm Leila Feinstein.